Yeah, Fred, he's a really calm guy, like always chilled out. And uh, that's what I appreciate most. He's never, he doesn't look stressed or he's always smiling. His riding is really nice. It's really smooth tricks. It's not forced, it's just flowing in the air. So I'm always impressed when he rides. Frederick is an awesome person. He's a very good rider and like very good friend. Yesterday he rode awesome here. He did like backflip in the end to to tsunami on that two jumps on the roll and he's got some style with his hat like yeah that hip hop music yeah he's perfect Frederick Johansson has been a dominant rider on the IFMXF tour for years now but how did it all begin I have no motocross uh, relations in my family or, or, or anything, so it took some time for me to, to convince my parents that they should buy me a motocross bike. And finally they did, and I started riding them around the house. And We didn't have much money, you know, my mom and dad work 24-7 and they put all my all money they earn into my, you know, career. And uh, when I find out that, okay, motocross, I'm not going to earn any money of it and I don't know it's just it turned out that freestyle was coming you know and uh, the show that I was you know were pretty good at it and had easy to learn so that was the biggest you know change in my career going from racing to freestyle Without my parents, I wouldn't have been riding motorcycles at all. Through all my years of racing, they have been behind me 110%. My dad did all the mechanics, my mom fixed all the foods for, for, for 20 years almost. No, 15 at least. And uh, uh, I mean, they're happy knowing that I am happy riding my bike and do that for a living now. Of course, they bite biting their nails every time I practice and, and go to competitions, but uh, they're happy for me and uh, I'm happy to have them. I have always been proud of Frederick. He's very diligent and we are happy about any development. One can see he really wants to do well. The whole family is proud of him. It's difficult when he is injured. I mean, he. It's uh, hard to see when he cannot do what he loves. I know how much he trains, and I know that he don't want to get injured. And I, that's the most important thing for him, so I trust him. I just saw Mike Metzger did a backflip on X Games. I thought he was the only guy possible ever to do that or something like that and said, hey, my friend Ilo is doing it. So, okay, I can, if he can do it, I can do it. And so I started doing the backflip stuff pretty early without the foam pits, you know, and everything but back then. And, and then I finally did my first flip at, in Hamburg, I think it was, in 2004 in, in the Spy from XF World Championship in Hamburg. And uh, that was, of course, a highlight, doing a backflip in competition. That was really cool. Fred is very ambitious. If he wants to do something, he does it 100%. He trains and always does the best he can. I've always been self-motivated. My parents have never told me to, hey Fred, it's Sunday, you have to go practice now. Because I was always first in the car and, you know, come on, I want to go ride. I really, you know, 
looking forward to be healthy and and go into the next part of the season, you know, in good riding, good confidence, and I have some new tricks that I've been working on, so I'm looking forward. And so are we.